Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the In Groove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm going to do a video on the best 10 jazz records that you can currently buy in print in 2020. These are all analog issues. Uh, kind of more of a rough guidelines. This isn't the end all be all, but these are 10 records that I really enjoy. They're some of my favorite go to jazz records. They're records that I use for demos, uh, for equipment, gear in the store. I'm going to start out with Dave Brubeck's Time Out, the 45 RPM version. This is a record that I have done a video on, a shootout. This particular 45 RPM came out on top. Uh, this is a fantastic record. This is a great record for showing the three-dimensional three nature of a band playing. You know, you, you can put this record on and close your eyes and you can kind of pick out Brubeck. You can pick out the drummer. You can pick out everybody within you know, like a virtual stage setting. This is a, a great record for that. Uh, one of my favorites. I had a buddy once that told me, uh, brought him home to the house, let him listen. We put a timeout on. And his comment was to me, it sounds too good. <laughs> I don't like it. This is Getz Gilberto. Uh, fantastic record. Uh, 45 RPM. The Brubeck is a 45 RPM record. This is a fantastic demo record. I mean, unbelievably sounding record. Uh, this runs you 55 bucks. The Brubeck runs you 55 bucks. Both of these are by Analog Productions. Most of their 45 RPMs are $55. You can buy these all at our website, www.theingroove.com. Uh, fantastic record again. These two records actually came from the store's demo pile. Two records that I love to demo gear with in the store. This next one was a little tougher because this is part of the Blue Notes Tone Poets series. Most of the Tone Poets are fantastic, especially the Van Gelder recorded Blue Note stuff. There's some other titles that they ventured outside of the Blue Note catalog that the recording quality wasn't as good, but this is one of my favorite mainly because of the personnel. This is Wayne Shorter's Electra, Herbie Hancock, Joe Chambers on drums. Fantastic album. Uh, great sounding. And again, a lot of the tone poets kind of fit into this category as fantastic sounding records. These are very similar to the Music Matters titles and the fact that they are a real high quality tip on jacket. They have a gatefold that opens up with session photography and stuff of that nature. They are pressed and played it out RTI. Fantastic records. This is one of my favorite within the next series, which is the 80th anniversary series, which again are all analog. Uh, big differences between these and the Tone Poets. I've talked about this before in previous videos. A lot cheaper quality cover. Uh, pressed in Germany, plated. Both of them, though, are all analog, and they're cut by Kevin Gray at Coherence. So very, very similar. You know, sound quality is not similar. It's really the same on both of these. They're really high-quality analog, and as long as you're getting Van Gelder stuff within a certain time frame, you know, the high-quality sound is there across the board. Uh, one of my favorite, Lee Morgan, Curtis Filler, Fuller, Wayne Shorter, Art Blakey on drums. Of course, it's his album. I mean, it's really hard to beat, especially for sound quality, you know, Art Blakey laying into the drums. One of my favorite within the 80th series. Again, all analog. All these are analog. This is from one of my favorite obscure labels. They've got about 12 or 13 releases. I carry them all in the shop. I love them. The guy who runs this label is a passionate guy who really cares about records. This is from Sam Records. This is Nathan Davis. This is a live concert, but this was probably recorded in front of 15 people. You don't get a lot of clapping and cheering. It's not something that you, for the most part, would even realize that it is a live concert. This is a three disc set. They're number to a thousand. This is 816 of a thousand. This is the second series. They did it once before it sold out immediately but this is an unbelievably good sounding record this label kind of specializes in doing european mostly french issued records that were studio albums whether it's chet baker or miles davis soundtrack or 
some monk soundtrack stuff this barney wyland this is essentially the exiled musicians the jazz musicians who for whatever reason went to europe cut an album lived in europe but essentially it's american players in a lot of cases with you know european ba backing band they're studio albums in a lot of the cases but they're next to impossible to find they go for astronomical money and fred over there at sam records does a fantastic job kind of like music matters here in the united states they go back they get the original session photography license it it's all analog you know a lot of theirs are flip back covers like the old beatles records or a lot of the european records uh uk pressings from the 50s and 60s you know the flip back covers he replicates all that and does a fantastic job this is one of my favorite though this is a concert that never came out the sound quality on this is unbelievably good and it's kind of a a lot of different styles of jazz so it makes a real good a good album great demo record fantastic introduction into sam records this is done by impex another highly regarded audiophile label this is friday night lights mclaughlin the lucia the mola killer guitar work this is the 45 rpm version there's a 33 rpm version of this that's really good this is the 45 rpm version number to 3000 done by again impex records fantastic records this has been like an audiophile record for since the original came out exceptionally well recorded fantastic record done by impex This is an unbelievably sounding record. Nora Jones, Come Away With Me. This is one that I've been playing in the store a lot lately since they got reissued again. This was at a print maybe about six months ago and this was going for like 150, 200 bucks. This was a very expensive album. And then, you know, Analog Productions got licensed to do it again and they just cranked out another run of them. And uh, yeah, now you can get it for 35 bucks. And if you heard it, you probably, a lot of people would have laid down that 150, 200. So a great opportunity to get this particular record at $35 while it's, you know, on the cheap. When it goes out of print, it's gonna shoot right back up to that 150, $200 range because of how good it sounds. It is unbelievable. Uh, kind of a rare circumstance to where you're getting an album cut in the early 2000s on tape. Fantastic sounding analog recording done by Analog Productions. This is like a must have. Again, a very solid demo record here in the store. This is an Impex record similar to the Friday Night Lights, but this is done on a label called Three Blind Mice. This is a Japanese label, really known amongst the world for extremely high quality analog recordings. This is a, a group of Japanese musicians that, you know, they cut a lot of records. They created their own label called Three Blind Mice, and this was kind of the blue note of Japan. They were absolutely fanatical about sound quality. If you look at Blow Up, you can actually see they draw out the studio, all the musicians, uh, placement in the room, what microphones they use to mic the, the room, the instruments, it's all listed. The sound quality is absolutely unbelievable. This is my favorite title in, Impex does three of these. You can get a box set with all three of them in them. This is one of the single titles that you can get uh, separate from the box set. ISO Suzuki Trio Quartet, this is Blow Up. This is an unbelievable record and a bass monster. This will, uh, this is a fantastic record. I play this a lot in the store. People are always wondering what it is. I sell them one title, typically the one I'm playing, which is Blow Up, and then they come back and they get the rest. I've turned a lot of people on to this. It is a fantastic, high quality sounding record. And it's a lot of these Jap Japanese musicians are doing, they're doing standards, American standards, but they do a lot of their own stuff and it's absolutely fantastic. The label in general is fantastic, Three Blind Mice, as a whole now you can only get a few of them here on these reissues but if you have an opportunity to check out some of the other titles that three blind mice does you know going back to the japanese originals the sound quality is unbelievable but blow up is a favorite of mine of the currently in print stuff 
Next, I'm going to do uh, Miles Davis's Kinda Blue. This is the Mobile Fidelity 45 RPM version. Now, at the time of doing this video, this particular title is awaiting a repress. That's the case with this album all the time. They make some, they sell out immediately. You wait a couple of months, you got to get it again. Every single time that they're awaiting repress, they shoot up in value, $75, $125. Don't pay it. Wait till they come back in print. They'll be on my website when they do. Uh, greatest jazz album of all time and the best sounding version of that album. While you can get it, now a lot of the Miles Davis titles are going out of print. They're already $150, $200. Bitches Brew is extremely expensive. But this is still currently in print. You're just waiting a repress. This is an absolute must-have in any jazz collection. Of course, it's the greatest jazz album of all time, the best-selling jazz album of all time by the, you know, biggest star of, in jazz. Uh, Miles Davis is kind of blue, the 45 RPM, fantastic-sounding record. And last, I'm going to pitch another one of the Mobile Fidelity one-steps. It seems that no matter what record they make in a one-step title, it is the best version of that record you will ever hear. That has been the case so far. These are unbelievably high quality sounding records. They should be, they're $125 brand new, which is an exorbitant amount of money for a new record. But when you look at a lot of these jazz records, you know, in a lot of cases, an original costs, not on this particular title, but in a lot of cases, you know, thousands of dollars. So compared to that, these are really relative bargains. But while this is still in print, the jazz titles, they do mostly three, 6,000 of them. So while this is in print, get it. I don't think it'll be in print for long. I mean, it's not in print, but I don't think the 6,000 will stick around for long. So while you can, get it. These one steps are absolutely fantastic. Uh, it doesn't matter what genre of music it is. When they do a one step, they really are fantastic. Uh, this has been one of my favorite titles actually that they've done. There's about you know four or five that I really like. Uh, the Thelonious Monk, unbelievable. Santana Brax is fantastic, obviously. That's why it goes for over a grand. Uh, the Marvin Gaye and the Bob Dylan are absolutely fantastic. The Marvin Gaye is uh, unbelievable. R&B that was recorded well, that's done as an audiophile issue, is really hard to beat as far as, you know, sound quality on vinyl. But again, guys, I appreciate you watching. Again, all this stuff can be bought on our website at theingroove.com. I'll put links below. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos and like it. We're going to be doing a lot more of these while the store is currently closed due to the coronavirus outbreak. Got a lot of spare time on my hands. All right, guys, until next time.